Everybody needs good neighbors. <sighs> Boy, if I knew there was going to be this much action happening, I would never have gone out. <laughs> Welcome to the real world of police work. Anyone feel like doing a food run? Yeah, why not? All this hard work gives a bloke an appetite. By the way, tell the clown who waved us on his way past. That kind of thing doesn't help our cover. Stoney! Stoney! <laughs> Fine, keep out of sight. Very good. Um, uh, thank you for letting me know. Bye. Right, that was Detective Stevens. Those side of the thugs at Lassiter's are on their way here now. Uh, hey, just a minute, just a minute. Stay away from the window. The police said stay out of sight. Uh, they won't be able to see from us, all right. Now, how do you know that? Come on, Mel, stop. Behave like an adult for once, would you? Oh. Look, 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 it's them. That's their car. How do you know this? Oh, that looks like a cringe car if ever I saw one. They're right in front of the house now. You got them? I got them. Okay. I'll keep my head down here, make my way back to the van when I can. Oh, hell. A female juvenile on the scene. You want me to get out undercover? No. Stay undercover. She probably lives around here. Just hold back till she's off the street. Okay. How are you getting out of the car? Oh, Mel, for the last time, how many times do I have to get away? He's leaving. Oh, no, I should have done enough to rely on Sonny. I should have gone myself. It's all right. Hey, what if she scares them off? I don't care about them as long as she's safe. If we burn now, we've blown the whole thing. We need them to go for the drugs. I know, just stand by. Uh, no, it's okay. We're organised, thanks. Let me get away from them! I don't know what you guys are doing here, but you can wrap off! What's going on? Well, get out of the way! Get off there! Oh, what? Go, go, go! Let's go down! Police, go for it! Drop the gun! Drop it! Drop it! Drop the gun! Well, not a complete failure. At least we got him on a weapons charge. Oh, it's okay. They've got him. Oh, how about that? Gunfighter, the Ram Street Corral. You get out there, Katie, so we've got him. Katie? Another bump here. Sam, I'm sorry. Gosh, I don't know what you have any family here. I don't want to go to. No, boys, I'm sorry. No one goes. Describe that sort of thing as going well. Pam and Doug coming down? 
Well, Pam is. Doug's caught up on this big building project. If he goes away, the whole thing falls through. He spoke to the surgeon. It was just such a terrible position to be in. Oh, I can't imagine how I'd feel if it was one of ours. No, don't, oh. don't, don't talk about it. Oh, if I know more about this before this oh. afternoon, I know. What are the odds of being shot at your own house like that? It's pretty freaky, isn't it? I can't believe I asked him if they were lost. Can we please all stop talking about this? Excuse me. Look, I'll go just no and make a big deal of it when he gets back, okay? How are you two doing, eh? It's like it didn't really happen. Mm. No. Usually it's a ball or something going through someone's window, not a bullet. Yes, it's hard to comprehend, isn't it? You said Sergi went well, though. I mean, she's going to be all right. I'm really not sure, Mel. We'll, we'll know more in the morning. What, you mean if she improves overnight? No, sweetie, I mean if she makes it through the night. That's right. You're doing all right now. The hospital. And you're doing fine. Exactly, a couple of days probably. The operation was very successful. Oh, I need some water. birthday telegram from the Queen. If she lives that long. <laughs> yeah. Maybe that's what I was specialising. Finding the secret to eternal youth. It's already worth my cause. Yeah. And I'll sell off a huge buck. <laughs> so, so enough about me anyway. What have you been doing since I've been out of it? Oh, uh, launching my modelling career. Oh, that's right. How's that going? Oh, I don't know. Pretty silly. Why? Don't laugh. <sighs> oh, it was really embarrassing, guys. Why? Didn't have to get your gear off, did you? <laughs> hey, you okay? Do you want to get some? No, I'm fine. I'll get the next one. No, it's fine. Yeah. I always hope. Spoke to Alan Cart, right? He's very pleased with the way you're coming along. You could be out of here by the end of the week. Model patient, eh? Mm, don't know about that. 
The nurse did mention something about you trying to lasso your chart with your IV line. Uh, I was just curious. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I won't be much choppers or receptions for. Don't you worry about that. You concentrate on getting better. Yeah. Hey, this might sound really weird, right? But I reckon this has been a good experience mm -hmm. for me. Mm -hmm. I mean, I prefer I didn't get shot. I'm not a total loony, but it's taught me something. What it's like to be a patient. Oh, yeah. I know what you mean. It's very easy to forget what it's like to be on the other side. In bed, in pain, frightened. Yeah. You know, I never had any doubt that you'd be a fine doctor. What you just said simply confirms that. Well, I'll be off. Now, that invitation stands open for you to come and have a look at the house. I'd love to. Oh, you didn't happen to find a case of home brew hidden away by any chance? No. Oh, yeah. Is that Dad's? Mm. He reckons he left a whole case behind. He keeps going on and on about it, about how it was from his best batch ever. <laughs> Sounds intriguing. Well, I'll pop over later and we can have a bit of a look for it. Yeah, please do. You keep up the good work. I will. Nice man. Yeah. Can I get you anything? No, I'm fine. <sighs> so many people in the canteen. No, you know you don't have to stay if you want to go. Yeah, no, 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 no. It feels so funny being back here. The number of times I've watched parents sitting by the bedside of their kids like this. Oh, it just makes me feel I should have been more compassionate or something. What? I've just been talking to Carl about the same thing, about being a doctor from the other perspective. You know, I can't remember anything after the shooting. Well, you wouldn't. Well, I'm a bit disappointed. <laughs> it must have come pretty close to carking it. You hear all them stories about near-death experiences, you know, about people leaving their bodies and moving towards the light and feeling at peace. To me, it was just darkness. It was empty, nothing. I think a lot of those stories are designed just to sell magazines. Yeah, that's true. Be nice though, don't you think? There was something else. Mm. Do you believe in life after death? Oh, I don't know. I'd like to. It's just the conventional idea of heaven. It's never really made much sense to me. Well, sounds a bit boring to tell you. <laughs> <laughs> I don't really know what I believe. Yeah, I haven't given it much thought. Not from now on. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Hello? Hi! Yes, she is. Just a minute. Hello? Good. <laughs> Don't make her laugh. <laughs> Success! Oh, what happened to you? Oh, of the killer Galar. He took a chunk out of me. <laughs> oh, darling, it used to be Brett Starks. You must have been teasing it. I wasn't teasing it. Where'd you find those? Up in the roof. Lucky they didn't explode or you would have had beer <laughs> dripping from the rafters. <laughs> I thought you were making some nibbles. Yeah, that was before I got nibbled. I'm almost bleeding. Well, why don't you try some of Dr. Doug's magic elixir? Guaranteed to ease all pain. Mm. Oh, I'd say no, I might just pop one on ice. <laughs> You come to think of it, might need a double dose. <laughs> <laughs> excuse me. Oh. I said excuse me, it just slipped out. It hasn't lost any of its fizz, that's for sure. It's a top drop. I think you should take the rest of the case home with you. Let Doug enjoy some of his success. No, oh, no, it's too difficult to lug around. Probably explode in the plane or something. It's best you keep it. Oh, I won't say no. It's better than a bought one. You're not drinking this, are you? Are you sure? Yes, positive. No, Doug might argue the point if he was here. You all right? Yes, fine. You don't have to worry about Cody, Pam. She'll be up and about in no time. Yeah, I know. Pam, why don't you stay? Stay and have some dinner. That's a good idea. The sale's giving me an appetite. Oh, no, no. I would really like to get back to the hospital and make sure she's all right. Cody's in safe hands, Pam. You don't have to worry. Yeah, I know. We've got plenty of food. You have to look after yourself too, you know. Look, I'll be all right. Sorry. Are you really all right? Yes, uh, I'm just a bit tired. Things have been difficult. Oh, of course I have. Yeah. But 
Thanks for letting me see the place again. It's really been wonderful. Well, look, if there's anything that we can do for you, anything at all, I'll be right. Yeah. I want to thank Doug for the brew, too. It's a, such a shame you couldn't be here to share it with us. Well, I mean, he really wanted to come as soon as he heard, but... but... Really, it's, it's... Do you understand? I'm sure Cody understands. Oh, yes, she understands. It's just me. <laughs> I mean, he wanted to come for both of us, but there's no way he can leave Vanuatu right now. The job's very demanding. And to be honest, well, we really need the money. We have for a while. Pam, everything will be okay. I'm sure. Thank you. Bye. Bye. Look, I'll go to the canteen and get some mags or something. What do you think? Okay. Thanks, Sam. Um... <laughs> Sleep okay? Yeah, like a log. Good. I was having a bit of a think last night, and as soon as you're up and at him, what? We're going to have a bit of a family reunion. <laughs> I think we'll be able to afford an airfare to Darwin by then. Excellent. I'll go fishing with Dad. <laughs> See if he's as good as he makes out in his letters. <laughs> Oh, you won't recognise Zach. He's huge. Oh, I've got some photos. Cool. And, of course, Gabby would love to see you. That, that's second, then, as soon as your father gets back. <laughs> Help me in here, someone! Oh. It's okay, it's okay. It's okay. It's okay. <laughs> Oh, she's arrested. Oh, oh, and I couldn't do anything. I just couldn't. Just calm, do calm down. She's in the best of care. The panicky is not oh, going to help you know that. When did she so go to the theatre? No, what do you mean? She's trying to play to you. Cody is a fighter, Pam. We know that. I'm sorry, Mrs. Willis. We did everything we could. Oh, no. Beautiful Cody. We're so proud of you, your father and me. All of us. So very proud. Thank you so much. Why? Of all people. Why?
will always be my best mate. <laughs>